In this video, we're going to go over the concept of pressure, and we're going to solve some problems using the pressure equation. So pressure is the force divided by the area. Uh, we can also write P equals F over A. The units are pressure is units are pascals. That's how you spell that. And a one pascal is equal to one newton divided by meters squared. So let me give you an example. So right now there is pressure um, of this eraser on the table. There's pressure. Uh, and But if I put it sideways like this, uh, it's going to have less pressure. The reason is because now I've changed the area. Here we have a small amount of area, and so uh, it's going to have more pressure. It's got the same force, which is the weight of this eraser. But if I put it sideways here, now the pressure is less. Here's another example, okay? So I've got a pencil right here, okay? And this tip has a very small area, so I can really feel that, okay? That feels like more pressure than if I use the, the back side, on the eraser side, bigger area, less pressure, okay? So there's an inverse relationship between the pressure and the area. Uh, now, when we talk about pressure, um, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about when you might see this being used in everyday life. Um, we think about weather. Uh, it's used in weather, so in weather, they'll use millibars of units in weather. Uh, tire pressures, we use pounds per square inch, or PSI. So these are also other units that can be used also for pressure. And blood pressure, millimeters uh, of mercury, uh, we use that to measure pressure for uh, blood pressure. So pressure is really important in our lives. And uh, one more bit of information before we start our look at some problems. Uh, one atmosphere is the average pressure at sea level. Uh, so uh, we can also convert this to, you can see the, the conversion here between one atmosphere to millibars and one atmosphere to uh, millimeters of, of mercury here. Okay, and then also, um, actually one more thing here. Uh, when we, uh, when we, here we have a tire, and uh, when we're talking about pressure, oftentimes we're, we're dealing with fluids here, uh, liquids or gases, and here we have a tire. And uh, in a tire, we have air pressure inside the tire, and this pressure, uh, the molecules are moving, bouncing all around, uh, and so the molecules are exerting forces uh, in all different directions. But on the surface here, uh, the forces, the net force, because there's some going this way, some pushing this way, in all random direction, but the net force at each location, you'll notice, is perpendicular to the surface of the tire. Um, so that's a key point there. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, take a look at some problems. All right, um, here's our first problem. An astronaut is working outside the International Space Station with the atmospheric pressure is essentially zero. The pressure gauge, gauge on her air tank reads uh, 6.9 times 10 to 6 pascals. What force does the air inside the tank exert on the flat end of the cylindrical tank? A disc of 0 0.150 meter in diameter. Okay, so this is the diameter and this is the pressure. Right. So I'm going to do a quick sketch of the tank here. Okay, and we know that the diameter, diameter is 0 0.150 meters. So uh, in order to calculate the uh, the force here, we're looking for the force, uh, we need to know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start here, P equals F over A, That's I'm gonna start with that equation. To calculate the force, we're gonna need to know the pressure and the area. Okay. So they gave us the pressure, now we need the area. What is the area um, on, this, um, uh, on this flat end here? Okay, so area of a circle is pi r squared, so it's going to be pi times 0 0.150 divided by 2. Why did I divide by 2? Because this is diameter and this is r radius. So i got to divide by 2. I'm going to square that and I get 0 0.0177 meters squared. Okay, so I'm going to bracket that because I'm going to use that again in just a moment. Now I'm going to plug it in here. So my pressure, my pressure, which is given is 6.9 times 10 to the 6. The area is 0 0.0177, and we get 1.22 times 10 to the fifth, and the unit for force is newtons. Okay, next question. As a woman walks, her entire weight is momentarily placed on one heel of her high heel shoes. Calculate the pressure exerted on the floor by the heel, so we're looking for pressure, 
uh, if it has an area of 1.5 centimeters squared and the woman's mass is 55 kilograms. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a circle here representing the surface area of the bottom of this heel. And uh, they told us that um, this person's mass, this woman's mass, is 55 kilograms. So uh, I need to calculate the force. How much force is exerted on this heel here? So Fg equals mg. So we're going to take the 55 times g is the gravitational field strength, which is 9.8, and we get 539 newtons. Okay, so we have the force, okay, but if we want to calculate the pressure, we also need the area. So what is the area here? Well, they told us that the area is, uh, this area right here is, area is 1.5, centimeters squared. Okay, so here's the problem. We need to convert this to meters because Pascal's is measured in newtons per meter squared, so we got to convert this. So to convert 1.5 centimeters squared, we're going to multiply it. Now here's a common mistake. Um, you might, a student might realize that a hundred centimeter is equal to one meter, and they might just do the calculation. But here's the problem. This is squared. So we've got to make sure we squared the top and we squared the bottom, squared everything here, top and bottom. And then once we do that, this is going to be uh, 100 squared. So 1.5 divided by 100 squared, we get 1.50 times 10 to the negative 4 meters. Okay, so we've converted centimeters to actually meters squared, meters squared. Let me go ahead and bracket that. Now I'm going to plug it in here. Uh, so our force is 1.5. Um, actually our force, uh, our, our force is, oops, our force is 539, so 539, 539 newtons divided by the area is 1.5 times 10 to the negative 4 meters squared, and we get 3.59 times 10 to the 6 pascals. Right, now let's take a look at question number three. The pressure exerted by a phonograph needle on a record is surprisingly large. If the equivalent of one gram is supported by a needle, the tip of which is a circle 0 0.200 millimeters in radius, what pressure is exerted on the record in newtons per meter squared? Okay, so I'm just going to really quick, just do a little quick, quick sketch of a needle here. I know it's not drawn to scale. And the first thing we've got to do is we've got to figure out the force because pressure is force divided by the area. So we want to find the force of the weight of this one gram. So we can do Fg equals mg. And we want to first convert the grams uh, to kilograms because G is uh, is in newtons per kilogram. So we got to convert that. So one gram, uh, 1,000 gram is one kilogram. So we're going to take this divided by 1,000. And so the mass is 0 0.001 kilogram times G, which is the gravitational field strength, 9.8 newtons per kilogram. Notice the kilograms cancel out, and we get 0 0.0098 newtons. Go ahead and bracket that. We'll use that in a moment. Okay, next. Um, we know that the radius here, this radius right here, R, is 0.0. 200 millimeters. Now we need the area, but before we calculate the area, I want to convert it to meters uh, because Pascal's is in uh, newtons per meter squared. So we're going to convert this and 1,000 millimeters is equal to one meter. So we get 0 0.0002 meters. Go ahead and bracket that. Now we're going to calculate the area. Area is pi r squared and the R is 0 0.0002 squared, and we get 1.26 times 10 to the negative 7 meters squared. Go ahead and bracket that. Okay. Now we're ready to calculate the pressure. Pressure is force divided by area, and the force is this weight here, 0 0.0098 newtons divided by, and the area is... 1.26 times 10 to the negative 7 meters squared, and we get 7.80 times 10 
to the fourth, and the units are pascals or newtons per meter squared. Okay. Now we're going to take a look at question number four. Nail tips exert tremendous pressure when they are hit by hammers because they exert a large force over a small area. What force must be exerted on a nail with a circular tip of one millimeter diameter to create a pressure of three times 10 to the ninth newtons per meter squared? Okay, so here is my nail and here is my hammer. And the diameter of this nail, they told us, is one millimeter. Okay. Now, when we see millimeter, you know we've got to convert this to meters, right? So, a thousand millimeters equals one meter. So, we get 0 0.001 meter. So, we're going to go and bracket that. Okay. We also need to figure out, to figure out the force, we also need the pressure. Um, Oh, sorry, we also need the area. Uh, so the area, uh, we're going to take this to calculate the area. Area is pi r squared. So we have pi times 0 0.001 divided by 2. Why am I dividing by 2? Because this is diameter and this is radius. That's why I'm dividing it by 2. Don't forget to square that. And we get 7.85 times 10 to the negative 7 meters squared. Okay. So now I have the area, and I'm looking for the force, and I've been told what the pressure is. So the pressure was given. So P equals F over A. I'm going to re rewrite this to solve for force, which is P times A. The P is 3 times 10 to the 9th. The A is 7.85 times 10 to the negative 7. And we get 2.36 times 10 to the 3rd. Newtons.